Hello, humans, and welcome to another episode of the Cartridge and Disc Podcast. That's right. Today, we got a booster shot, another Amico booster shot. Let's talk about the news, and let's talk about Mr. Tommy Tallarico in court. Yes, the beloved leader is in court all on his own. He's all on his own because, of course, his former friends have abandoned him, and television is not stepping up to the plate. They are completely foregoing their responsibilities when it comes to this bill, and they're leaving it all up to him. Right. So let's just frame this up here in the proper context. In television could pay this bill if they wanted to. Right. It's their responsibility. Tommy gave a personal guarantee, which is a really bad idea, by the way. Don't ever do this again. And before I start, this is not financial and legal advice. You guys go ahead and burn your money if you want. That's probably why you invested in this company. Whenever you're going to do anything legal or financial, make sure that you seek the help of a professional. That way you won't get involved in investment schemes like this or (laughs) signing personal guarantees where you don't have to. All right, guys. Now, with that said, let's go to the Intellivision underscore Amico thread. And I will post links down below to the document. It's at the thread itself. I think they did a great job of summarizing. But let me even boil it down even further for you and and, and just put it in context in here. What does Tommy want? Number one, he's still denying any liability whatsoever for this furniture. Number two, he wants to go to mediation. Mediation, he wants to basically bring down the price, negotiate, if you will. If he has to pay, he doesn't want to pay the full amount. And number three, if that's not possible, he wants a jury trial. (laughs) Now, I personally would love a jury trial a la Johnny Depp, right? And have him up there (laughs) being questioned by lawyers. Now that, guys, I I think that's a a very remote possibility. I don't think any judge would grant something like this in this case, right? And as far as the Depp collector here, Amour, uh, their stance is pretty, pretty solid. They're just saying, hey, you know, we had an agreement. You said you were going to pay it. You didn't pay it. And you'd made a personal guarantee, and now you're trying to weasel out of it. We want all our money. We don't want half of it. We don't want 10% on the dollar. We want every single penny that you promised to give us, plus interest, plus lawyer fees. We want all of that. We want all of that, right? So they are not willing to negotiate. Now, what this is telling me is probably in that contract there is no... Uh, negotiation, no room to wiggle that they left. I mean, these guys have been doing it for a long time and there's probably no mediation clause in there, right? So that's why Tommy's asking for some relief here. I mean, these are just things that we can do. But it's still, again, let's put into context. That company has two investors that are worth over $300 million. The company is selling off assets right now, right? So they can keep moving forward, supposedly, But nobody's giving Tommy any money here to uh, pay for this bill. He's still answering the lawsuit on his own. On top of that, the insurance company that was insuring television is over here saying, hey, wait a minute, even if this goes down, we don't want any liability. We have no part in this. This is not (laughs) something that the company did. This is not what this insurance is for. It's not for you going shopping and then not being able to pay and then not paying for somebody that signed a personal guarantee, right? And, you know, the personal guarantee voids all that, number one. Number two, this is not part of business. This is just stuff that you bought for the office, right? So the insurance company itself doesn't want any part of to do with it. So Tommy is left all alone in an island of debt here. I mean, we're hoping he sold enough comic books, enough of his old consoles in order to mitigate some of these costs, but, you know, basically this guy's all alone, you know, all alone. Well, what can he do? I mean, it looks like the only friends he has are, are the followers on YouTube that are still pumping up this console, right? Because John Alvarado isn't stopping by and, you know, you know, <laughs> scratching off 10% of that half million. Phil Adam is offering no relief whatsoever. And neither are the investors, He put all this thing together. He made all that money for them, and they will not help him. Yikes. You know, at some point, you know, at some point, 
that's going to be brought up somewhere, right? And the way this was laid out, you know, I think it, if anything, right, for the investors who have no recourse, who have, you know, no chance of seeing their money, it might be a little bit of a, of a satisfaction, right? A little bit of a watch him uh, get some payback for the money that he lost them because this money was mismanaged, guys. I mean, it was just a mis mismanagement of, of assets. But what this really tells me is that, you know, he believed he could do it, right? I believe he bought his own Kool-Aid uh, because if you're, just, if you're just going out straight to scam people, you wouldn't leave yourself this open. Now, this is the only guarantee that we know about. Right? This is there might be more. <laughs> this is maybe it's the only one he's gotten sued for, but there might be more. We don't know. But he's got this as a loser. He's got the million dollar in manufacturing as a loser. I mean, those. I mean, when that one happened, guys, and he didn't get fired. I mean, <laughs> that's when they should have fired him right there, right? Um, but that tells me. I mean, this thing is is just. Uh, going to end up slowly and it's going to end up with him having to pay money because these people are not willing to negotiate. They are that sure in their contract. They want a summary judgment, which means that the, you know, the judge is going to say, hey, Tommy, you got to pay these guys. You got to pay them the full money, right? Not a part, you know, nothing. And you got to pay for the lawyer fees and interest. And you know, unless the judge says, hey, you know what, even though there's no mediation in the contract, I want you guys to try to work it out. Try to work it out for me. See if you see what you can do. Right. And then, you know, Tommy might be able to get a discount. Right. Because even if he has to pay, he doesn't want to pay the full amount. And that's what he's trying to look to do here. Um, at this point, my guess is this this company has a long tooth. They've been doing this for a long time. And if they're not even willing to mediate, which would give you some money back, it means that they're pretty sure that they're going to win this thing and that they don't have to do anything. That would be my read. But it's really sad to see, right? It's really sad to see the position that this company ended up in. It's really interesting to see who's Tommy's real friends are. You know, after, you know, I know this guy, I know this guy, he's great friends, this and that and the other. The only people that had it really showed up for him is the people that he affected the most, right? All these YouTube creators are the ones that are that are showing up for him, and they're the ones who actually paid the price for a lot of his <laughs> shenanigans, if you will. To us, it was just entertainment, right? To us, we're just standing by in the peripherals and just laughing at the whole situation. But a real price is, is paid here in dollars now. By this guy, number one, a real price was paid by these creators whose reputation is never going to be the same. Um, and it's just odd, right? It really is odd if you would have asked me, you know, two years ago, if this is what I ended up seeing. No, no. I mean, all these guys that took a salary, not even to help them, all those guys that were just sitting there doing nothing, collecting $100,000 $100, paychecks. You would think that they would, you know, do a, a Kickstarter, a, a fundraiser, a GoFundMe, something, whatever the hell they call those things. But no, nada. And if any, if in anybody would do anything like that, it would probably be the YouTubers trying to help Tommy. But at this point, man, it's just a joke. But we'll keep enjoying it. Guys, thank you for joining me. I'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I earned your subscription. Make sure to hit that like button. And if you'd like to, please subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.